There are two performance principles that will come up over and over again throughout this course, so it is worthwhile to introduce these principles now so you can keep these in mind throughout the course. The first principle is that in order to improve performance, your primary goal should be to have Oracle process less data. Oracle is built to handle large volumes of data, this is true, but what it is really built for is to have the ability to quickly eliminate all the data that doesn't apply to a particular operation and quickly locate the data that does. If Oracle or any database has to read millions of rows off of disk, store this data in memory, and then sequentially scan through all of this data to perform some sort of comparison against the data, this is going to take not just time, but a lot of system resources on the Oracle server. And this is going to be reflected in how long it takes to complete your SQL statement. Contrast this to if you could use index operations such that rather than loading and processing millions of rows of a table, you could directly go to the hundred or so rows that interest you and just load and process these rows. Clearly, the second example is going to be much faster. And so that is what you want to help Oracle do, is to efficiently and quickly locate the data of interest we need for a particular SQL statement without having to look through tens of thousands of rows that are of no interest to us. This brings up a corollary to our first principle, and that is we want to minimize any amount of wasted work that our Oracle server does. If you have ever done any reading about lean manufacturing or lean software development, you know one of the ways to reduce cost is to eliminate the wasteful processes that aren't producing any value. The same is true in Oracle. We don't want to read millions of rows from a table when 100 rows will do. We want to write our SQL statement so that Oracle has the best chance to take advantage of our data being cached, so our data doesn't have to be reloaded from disk in an expensive disk operation. And we want to do things like use bind variables so our SQL statements don't have to be reparsed each time they're submitted, wasting precious CPU resources. By intelligently designing our application, we can eliminate a lot of the rework and unnecessary work that goes on in our database. And that helps Oracle get the answers we need faster and have more processing power available to do the productive work we need Oracle to do. The second principle in database performance tuning is that you want to take a very analytical, numbers-driven approach to the problem and let data drive your decisions. Oracle gives us a lot of data about how a SQL statement is running and how the database is running as a whole. So we want to look at this data to see what insights it gives us into where the problem is. When we do decide to make a change, like rewriting a SQL statement or adding an index, we can use this data to compare before and after results to know if we've improved the performance of our operation and by how much. Another reason that it is important to take an approach based on data is that everyone's application and database are a little bit different. This could be the amount or distribution of data in your Oracle database, or perhaps a special use case that you have in your application. But by taking an approach of measure it, you will be confident that you're making the right decision because that decision is based on data. To summarize, we'll use an analogy. Think of watching a world-class athlete perform. There's no wasted motion, no wasted effort or energy. This is how you want to write your data access code. Minimize the amount of disk I.O., memory, and CPU that is wasted so that all of your effort is going into the productive work of running your SQL statement. And just like world-class athletes take a very scientific and data-driven approach to their training, you want to take the same approach to your performance tuning efforts. In this course, we'll learn the skills you need to accomplish both of these goals.